to provide you with an update where we are with our battery testing and investigation of the water battery or earth battery. We have identified the various materials and the potential it can provide using just plain filtered water. And we are now in a process of increasing the potential and the current by using then the single cell as this one is here, as you can see here. So this single cell will now be integrated in various single cells here in a system, just from a, from a flower pot, and then we're going to integrate this in the earth. We're using various materials as a mix. All of these materials are earth-related earth or earthbound or biological material. And all of that materials here are non-conductive, very important. So what we have here is, yes, there is always a galvanic element existing between the electron flows of the so-called redox reaction between the materials where one um, component is providing or is oxidating and where the other one is reducing and is actually um, absorbing um, 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 electrons until both are in a saturated state. However, that happens only if that is accelerated with um, agents like acid or alkaline materials and other components which are not natural. We don't want to replicate that, we want to have an earth battery. And the earth battery has a complete different function. First of all, it doesn't rely on much current we're providing from the system or high potential. We're going to do that in a controlled fashion here with our earth materials. However, we're going to use then the Nism um, um, stubble field coil, which on its own, when I measured it, has already 80 ohm in that fashion. Try, it's quite high. However, it will also not matter because when we connect it correctly in the circuitry its resistance will, give, will be going close to zero and because it will be electromagnetic and with the earth fields we get a much higher potential out. So in the next phase we are going to use the components fill our cells. We have used here aluminium tape and, and copper tape which are not very high poten from a potential point of view. We use them here as a cell, integrate that in the earth Look at the potential and then drive a load and optimize that then with a nascent stubble field cord cell will be our next uh, phase for the integration and we will see how much performance we can achieve under this component until we go to the next stage, increases that even further with new insulation, new construction, but everything will be earthbound. Everything will be installed in the Earth and the Earth will play a crucial role here in the energy producing process.